All right, it's your boy One Poe. I'm sure by now everybody know about the picture that Miss Teresa had posted of Kanika. I would not be showing that picture on my platform. Because when I seen that picture, it did something to me. Honestly. I don't know if I was mad, hurt. I don't know. But just seeing it in the state that she was in, I watched a few videos and stuff. And a few people pointed out that she had at least six bruises on her face. Both her eyes, her forehead, and around her face. But what stand out to me is her lips. Her lips look like she had them being done got beat up. You could tell all the different fractures on her face. Like you could tell something had happened to her. And I appreciate Miss Teresa putting this picture out now. And it might open up some more doors, honestly. But I wish they would have had show us her neck. Cause for so long we never saw her neck. And even in this picture right before. She went to the funeral home. We still don't see her neck. And I honestly believe that she got choked. She had marks on her neck. And they did everything they could to cover it up. The freezer. The police used their hair to cover it up. Took a picture. So you couldn't really see her neck. Now with this photo that Miss Teresa took. A Kanika at. Before she went to the, um, to the funeral home. They got a cover over her neck. It was like. It's foul playing this somewhere, and I don't care what nobody say. I've been saying this for a long time. I don't know if the friends are guilty. I don't know if the security is guilty or the manager is guilty, but somebody's definitely guilty of hurting this girl or killing this girl. She did not end up in that freezer by chance. It's a double door. When you go through the first one, it's chilly. The second one is freezing. Why would you go from to the from one door to the other door, knowing it's going to be even colder. Somebody had to force that girl to go in there. And if you look at all the all the different videos on YouTube, 54 Keys did the video of people fighting in the background. And then you see this picture, like she had done, got into a fight. If you look at her hair, like she, her hair had got wet. You know, so it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot going on with this case right now, but I appreciate Miss. Teresa posting that picture to give us an update. Let us know where she at and let, let us know how she feel. And right now, I got some good vibes from this. I know she got something that she ain't telling us that's good. That's why she ready to do this protest, a peaceful protest. And before I get out of here, if I could give Miss Teresa any advice, it would be to get the Crown Plaza security hard drive subpoena the hard drive and while i'm thinking about that since when have you ever heard of a murder happening and these people just come get the video these people be wanting the hard drives these people be wanting the whole computer so they can go in and find out if there's any footage being deleted or if there's anything else that goes along with this case these people Rosemont police took Crown Plaza security as they were. We trust you. We believe you. Why did they trust and believe them so much? Because it has to be some in this video, in these videos that took them over a week, a week and a half, if I'm not mistaken. To actually give to the public, to give to the law enforcement. They was dragging their feet with releasing this video. And there was no foul play going on and nothing happened. And she just wandered into the freezer. And she was all by herself. And her friends looked like they was looking for her so badly. Why it took y'all so long to give up that video to find out what's really going on? That's why in my heart, it seemed like Crown Plaza just they the weakest link but i'm mad at the friends for not speaking up if their images were manipulated in the surveillance videos that we have i'm mad at them for not speaking up because if you weren't there and you know you weren't there why you ain't raising your hand saying hey that ain't me right there i wasn't never there but anyway i'm out it's your boy one four